Welcome to the Nicholas 11x12 technology. Today I'd like to show you how to set up and optimize an SSD. SSDs are fast drives for desktop and mobile PCs. However, modern operating systems, programs and games can quickly take up a huge amount of storage and as you may know, capacity is more expensive than SSDs compared to standard mechanical drives. A very popular setup is to use an SSD as the boot drive and use a standard mechanical HDD for data storage. But that's not all you can do to actually optimize your SSD. There are a few simple things you can do to get the most performance out of any SSD and some will make the drives last longer as well. Tip number one, turn off defragmentation. To do so, simply go to start and search for defrag. Select the fragment and optimize your drives. Then this window will pop up. Click on change settings. Untick run on schedule and click OK. Defragmentation has now been disabled. The Windows defragmentation tool isn't very good anyways. I'd recommend going for third party programs here, such as OsLogix Disk Defrag for example. However, never, never, ever defrag an SSD. Defragging an SSD will seriously damage the drive and the first symptom is slowness. When it comes to standard mechanical HDDs, I'd recommend defragging them from time to time. Tip number two, turn off indexing. To do so, bring up the run command. You can do so by using the win plus r combination. Type in services.msc and click OK. This will bring up all the Windows services. Now look for Windows Search. Double click it. Then stop the service by clicking Stop. And under Startup Type, select Disabled. Then click Apply and OK. Indexing is a trick Windows uses to speed up the search for information on your hard drive. This helps for rotating drives, so standard mechanical HDDs. But this service doesn't provide any benefit on an SSD and only increases CPU load. So we also reduce a little bit of CPU load here. Tip number three, change page file settings. One internal secondary mechanical HDD required. To do so, right click start, go to system, then advanced system settings. This will bring up another window. Under the advanced tab, and under performance, click on settings. Another window pops up. Go to the advanced tab and under virtual memory, click on change. One more window comes up. Now untick automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Then make sure your SSD is selected, the C drive, and select no paging file. Click on set, which will bring up a warning and where you'll click on yes. Now select your secondary drive, the mechanical HDD, which shouldn't be an external one, but an internal one, and select system managed size for it. Click on set. Last but not least, click OK. The primary purpose of your page file is to act as virtual memory. Windows uses it for a couple of things. First off, it acts as a staging area for information, the OS things it might need next. Basically cache, and in case you don't have enough physical memory, the page file kicks in and creates virtual memory. Turning the page file off completely is not recommended, but relocating it is the best option in this case. But again, only relocate the page file if you have a secondary HDD in your system that you don't unplug. And that's all. Of course you could do even more, but this will take away some big options in Windows and therefore I don't recommend these. Additional ways would be disabling hibernation and modifying the Windows system restore settings. I really hope these tips could help you out with setting up and optimizing your SSD. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.